Namaste. Well, hello, first grade. Welcome to Thursday. Today for math, we have a couple of tests to take, a couple of assessments before we head off into Christmas break. So today for your fact assessment, you have 100 addition facts for your assessment today. So make sure that your name is on it. And my challenge for you is to set a timer. Set your timer for five minutes and see how many you can get done in those five minutes. Whatever you don't get done in the five minutes, grab a, a colored pencil and finish them off so that we can see how you are progressing with your math facts. Let's move right on to our written assessment though today. So go ahead and make sure your written assessment is out. Put your name on it as well as the date. Today is December 17, 2020. You do not need any crayons for this today. You just need your pencil and probably an eraser. All right, I'm going to read the entire assessment for you and it is your job to put in the answers and do all the work. Now, if I read them and you need more time that I have not given you, please make sure that you pause the video, finish up your work, and then you can move on to the next number. Let's look at number one. It says, Daniel had four nickels. Roseanne gave him five more nickels. How many nickels does he have now? I'll read that one more time. Daniel had four nickels. Roseanne gave him five more nickels. How many nickels does he have now? Your number sentence, don't forget your label and your answer. Okay, you may pause if you need to finish that up. I'm going to move on to number two. Number two says, finish numbering the number line. You can see it started at zero, so go up by ones. After you finish numbering the number line, go ahead and put a point at three. And I want you to label it A. So put a point at three and label it A. Then put a point at six, label it B. So put a point at three, label it A. Put a point at six, label it B. Number three, how much money is this? Take a look at your money. I see I have dimes, nickels, and pennies today. Number four, Darlene has four pairs of mittens. Draw the mittens. How many mittens did you draw? Remember that you need four pairs, not four mittens, four pairs. So draw four pairs of mittens. How many mittens did you draw? Number five, draw a line of symmetry in each shape or letter. So find your line of symmetry in the long rectangle. Find one in your diamond, which is actually a square also, if you would just turn it a little bit. Put your line of symmetry in your H and your C. And then you, our first graders, are capable of doing number six on your own. When you are done with the written assessment and the fact assessment, you can go ahead and put both of those into your Thursday folder.